I wasn't sure if I was gonna do a video this week, but I thought I would just so everybody knows, you know, what's been going on here. I'm gonna try to get through the video without breaking down. So let's talk about the updates first, I guess. And then we'll get to uh, other things. So, um, updates is, um, everybody's been waiting for Lexi Lou to go in heat. She's finally decided to go into heat. So, um, her mom, Michaela, decided that it's going to be a tight schedule but she's going to try to breed her so um if anybody knows lexi hasn't had um puppies for almost two years so we're gonna give it a whirl and see what we can do um just because we breed again doesn't mean just because we're gonna try doesn't mean we will succeed but um that's the news um another thing that i did realize with nala i was noticing that she wasn't getting very big and I initially saw like uh, at least three little sacks and then I did check her and I don't see them anymore so I don't think I think she reabsorbed so she's not pregnant uh, we do have Eva that was bred and we'll be able to tell in about well let's see a couple of weeks if she's pregnant or not um, she had some good natural ties so I'm thinking she most likely would be but again you just don't know so that's the news with the the breeding and the non you know breeding I guess you could say um, but we are excited for Lexi it's been a couple of years uh, as you know her mom's Michaela and she's ready to have a baby at the end of this year so time wise it's going to be tight but we're going to try to do it so I'll be there to help if she needs me but Lexi's a great mother and Kayla's great with her own litters but with the baby coming I'm, I'm here if she needs me so this this week's video is a tribute to our boy Frankie so Frankie's health has been failing him for over a year now and we all know it here at Devoted Danes uh, we've had Frankie uh, over seven years this December he would be eight so he's a little bit younger than Fiona but um, the thing with Frank is his back end's been failing him for quite some time um, we moved our bedroom upstairs and Frank has his bedroom downstairs because he couldn't do the stairs so which worked out perfectly for him for a while and um, I still call it Frankie's room even though he's no longer with us so um, you know as the time has gone by it's just gotten more and more for him and he's had more bad days and good days um, his mind was still fresh and crisp but his back end just didn't want to work anymore and we had to make the ultimate sacrifice and decision that he would be you know that it's time to make the call so we did and I knew I had this scheduled for a few weeks and I thought I'd be able to come to terms with it but I couldn't but I just I still had a hard time with it um, I had a very hard time I've had Frank since he was a 30 pound puppy and I got him um, Frank was um, we got Frank because Fiona needed a friend her own size so that's why we had Frank and Frank was the best guy ever you know, he was the puppy that kicked out of puppy class because he wanted to go to puppy class and just socialize with the owners and not really so much the puppies. So uh, he would be socializing with the owners and then the other puppies would come up and he'd snap at them. That got him kicked out of puppy school. But, you know, we didn't give up on him just because he had, he wasn't a perfect puppy. He was perfect for us. And we learned, you know, guarding and what it means and all that. And we, you know, we lived with it. and you know he be, he got better and better so like sometimes people want to give up on their dog because oh it has a flaw well guess what humans have flaws probably more than dogs so we've never given up on our dogs because they've had flaws because they weren't the perfect of course Sylvester has to be in every video because they weren't the perfect uh, puppy or dog or whatever so but Frank was a part of our gang 
We loved him. I just hope I gave him everything that he gave me. It's still hard going by his room and not seeing him in there or you know just certain times you know he'd be barking and we don't hear that anymore and the other the other guys realize he's gone too. They go in his room they're looking for him. So I just leave his room open so they can see that he's gone. But uh, we did have Frank's appointment on Friday morning and at our regular vet because I could not find could not find anybody to come to our house and Frank hates car rides so our vet was great and assisted in trying to give us something that would make his ride a little easier which it wasn't he hated it and it was it was hard on me and my husband um, but we did make the journey to our vet and um, you know it was just great because Frank was surrounded by his family like everybody that loved him um, you know my kids and my granddaughter Georgia got to be there too and Frank loved her he really did for an older guy he just lit up when he sees Georgia so I mean the best thing that I feel like I could do for him is be there for him throughout his whole life and that's what we you know we commit here at Devoted Danes we are in our our dogs our Danes life for life so we get them as puppies and then ultimately we are there to say goodbye as hard as it is on everybody. I mean, you know, this has really hit me hard because he's like a child. I mean, people say, oh, it's just a dog. Well, you've never had a connection then because he was so much more than that to us and will always be remembered. You know, we tell funny stories about him or what he did when he was a puppy or, oh, I remember this. I mean, Frank went camping with us. Frank was a guy that if someone came over, he wanted to be part of it. We've had baby showers here and Frank worked the crowd. Um, not saying our other ones can't, but Frank just loved people. He had since his whole life and even in the end, he was just happy to see everybody. So, um, you know, I will get over this eventually I'll learn to live with it because I know he's in a better place he's not going to you know when I look at old videos of him running around he was like just so free and happy when we first even moved here three years ago and then in the end like it was a different story so we did what we felt was best and this you know this week is tribute to him and I'm gonna have some pictures up and I mean, this is this is how we are. We, you know, we love our our Danes with our heart, and I hate to even call them dogs because there's so much more than that to us. You know, they're our family members. They've been there through, you know, thick and thin, and you know, we move, they come with us. You know, we have them for life, and that's what makes it hard. Is when I say for life, that means I'm here in the end, and uh, you know, and then. Uh, you know, I a lot of my Danes are getting older, so I'm just starting to think, you know, geez, you know, this is probably going to be, you know, one of many and eventually, but I don't want to think that far ahead. All as I know is I just wanted to let everybody know that we are grieving here, that we lost our big guy Frank, and, uh, you know, it'll take us time. But uh, we still do have our other, all our other Danes that we love and, you know, but his absence is felt, you know, we, we miss him. So it was a very emotional week for me, I guess you could say, because just seeing Co Cooper being homeless, like broke my heart. Uh, his first placement didn't work out. It was just an unforeseen circumstance that we didn't realize, but you don't really know until you place him so he was placed in a great home it just didn't work out um, because of you know just one thing but that that was enough so I have um, found him another home I'm hoping you know everything works out um, it has been so far so I did take him back here with me so I got to spend some time with him and he's so sweet it just kind of broke my heart when his owner left and he just kept looking for him so you know I just I don't know I guess with Frank and then you know and then Cooper being homeless it was just enough to do me and for sure I'm a softie when it comes to my animals or my children 
other than that I'm pretty much tough or at least I tell myself that but um, Cooper has been placed again and it seems to be going good so far so that's you know my goal is to he has in I mean everybody that had him said you know I wish it worked out because he's such a great a great boy and he really was he's super sweet so that was um one thing that I had to take care of and it's like to me it was just as important to find him a good home as it was like to grieve Frank because you know it's not fair for Cooper to to wonder like why why am I here where's my home where's my family so I wanted to get him into another home as soon as I could just so he could bond with them and not bond with me as much because I didn't want him to feel like this was another home that he was going to be in uh, the last home he was there for about a week but it was long enough to realize it wasn't going to work so I'm hoping the new family works and we do have other people that are, are so great and, and gracious to say you know if it doesn't work out please contact me and I will you know and I will and I'm hoping I don't have to but I will because I will try to find him a good home until that's the last thing I do I'm uh, I'm just like that. I brought him into the world and my main goal is to make sure he's happy and whoever has him wants him and can take care of him and, you know, provide all his needs that he needs. But so that was another thing that we dealt with this week. And then just we always have things going on. But our main thing was just to stop and, you know, honor Frank. So... I hope you enjoy like looking through his pictures and stuff. Um, so thanks for watching.